Hello everybody and welcome back to the show. It's been a couple of days since the last recording and you know, we had a guess at what battle tomes are to come. I know one or two of them are probably never going to happen, but uh, it was, you know, it was a nice fun video, I thought, and uh, I'm thankful for everybody that's uh, seen it, but we don't need to guess. We know when the general handbook is dropping, and it's up for pre-order next week. So, as of today, we've had an article drop, and we've had a video drop from Games Workshop saying about the general's handbook and what's to be expected in it so we're just going to have a quick look and break down the little facts that we know and show you guys what uh, <laughs> what's to come basically and what we got to enjoy so without further ado let's get straight into it right then guys before we even start it looks like GW have uh, walked back the video that was on their uh, YouTube channel because I went just now to double check it and as of this moment it looks like it's been removed don't know whether uh, it was released a little bit too early it should have been like a midweek drop but it's not showing so I don't know whether many of you had seen it and I don't know whether a few of you were like holding on to it but it's, it's not there now so I said we had the video to go on we've just got the article so what do we do know about the general's handbook is GW have stated that to, for like ease for the users they've split the general's handbook into two books so it's going to be the General's Handbook, which is going to be doing the the missions and the plays. And we're going to have the pitched battle profiles. So it's good that they split that up, because if you don't need to take your pitched battles, or you just need to take that and you don't need to take the other one, you've got the copy, split them, keep on safe. I like that, that shows to me that um, GW have got the customer in mind when they're doing these now it's not just here's another big book that you've got to lug around it's well it's ease of use at the end of the day now so you've got you'll have your battle tome you have your general handbook either or or both and then you've got your cards your dice you can get a bit of a handful on top of all the models so thank you gw that means a lot for us because you were thinking of us when you were putting this together so, um, like I said, the General's Handbook is looking at the three ways of play that GW seem to be pushing recently. It's the narrative play, uh, which they've said we'll get extra tactical and thematic depth to bring the cities of the mortal realms to life with the new streets of death rules, arcane objectives, and rules for raids and ambushes to add into the narrative place so it looks like they're trying to add a little extra into the game so you're going to try and make you know the story aspect of it you know bigger and better or condense it down depending on what you want to do would you want you know the streets flooded uh and you know there's a battle all around or do you want it like um small units that you could like they trying to dart through the town meet up with uh, the rest of the army or you know trying to catch the other assassin units say so i like that and we've got open play which is open play it's basically bring what you want to use don't worry about points it's just going to be whatever you bring you can use so that's, to me, I like that because that's getting, you know, newer players involved. It, like you don't have to worry about points, values, or narrative straight away. You could just get to grips with the game. You know, this is your your entry level. You could say, or if you just wanted to mess about. And then we've got matched play, which seems to have got 
a fair few rules. So um, they're offering new battle plans. Uh, there's new triumphs and command abilities for any army, and there's uh, terrain features now. So I don't know whether there's going to be new rules for all terrain available, but you know it's it, well, it's they fill, they fill in out what they didn't have, and they so it's rule it's going to be special rules for like uh your, your woodlands it's going to be special ones for your ruins and the fact that they've introduced a lot more modular terrain as well so it's everything to do with that um what else there's a new setting that they're trying to do as well called meeting engagements which i get the feeling these because what they've said is you could do that on a normal dining table setting so it i'm going to guess max points on these would be a thousand and it's going to be a quick skirmish game so i don't know whether it's going to be kill team-esque or if it's just uh, cities of death if you want to put it towards 40k but it's going to be a more condensed match play option so hopefully it would be quicker so if you've got let's say a few people without without the game you can cycle through these these meeting engagements quickly so a few people can play when you've got clubs etc. Um, the General's Handbook also contains allegiance abilities for several factions with expanded rules for Iron Jaws, Seraphon, Wanderers, Darkling Covens, Free People, Slave to Darkness and Dispossessed. So it looks like they've gone back and looked at Iron Jaws and Seraphon. Like I've said in my previous video I wanted them to have a battle tone but it looks like they're making a start for them in here. Um, because of the what I listened to as well on the YouTube channel earlier, they also said most of the battle tomes that come out now have had a bit of a rejig, so it's going to be the points wise, so we don't see the benefits in the next book that I'm going to talk about. So, so let's look at that then, which is going to be the pitched battle profile. So. What this is going to be is a separate book and it's got all the new 2019-2020 start, um, all the new points values for each unit, uh, equipment, etc. So, if you like your, your, your little spiddled in, this is your up-to-date version. I'm not quite sure whether it's going to get an automatic update on the AOS app because if you buy your battle tomes on there you want it up to date so i don't know whether you're gonna get access to general's handbook on there or if it's going to be automatic we will see it further on into the week but like i said uh gloom sprite gets um i think skaven flesh eater court blades of corn are gonna get new points values and I can't remember if I'm missing one, but I know those four that have been released this year already are getting a rejig because they were done after, well, they were released before this was finished. So, you know, it's obviously they needed balancing quickly. So, well then GW got it out there straight away-ish. But straight away for a company I would say so yeah all in all I like how this is looking it's well like I said it's a new way of looking at it this seems to be a very customer focused one where they've split it up to two so you don't have to drag it around um, by the whole piece you could just take what you want um, hopefully we'll get automatic updates on uh, the AOS app but uh, the new battle plans etc well you would have to pay for so I'm looking forward to this I really am the only thing I'm gonna say is a little bit excessive is is the fact that there's a warlord edition so if this was a computer game we'd probably be a little bit up in arms because the general handbook is like 
extra DLC and then on top of that you can get the special edition DLC for your main game so I see this as excessive but do you guys agree is this too much is it what you guys like to collect is do you not see any problem with this um, let me know um, because to me a special edition expand expansion would be a little bit much it's oh I don't I don't know perhaps I'm cheap perhaps I'm too cheap for the uh, the hobby but there's what it is and it, uh, this hobby attracts everyone so I speak for the uh, I speak for the the cheap minority as it were then but while we got it up on screen uh, the general the warlords edition sorry not the not the general edition the warlords edition you get an extra markers you've got um, terrain markers mystic shield markers deadly terrain markers um, tokens uh, star star strike markers rulers you name it it's in the pack also you've got little cards for uh, hidden agendas you've got um, what mercenary companies you've got objectives it's, it's got everything so you wouldn't have to like keep flicking through the book you've got it all in your cards which will probably save you a lot of time and rule checking so if this is your thing I completely don't understand really if you know if this is what you want to spend your money on and as well as the models it's up to you enjoy to me I will be sticking with the the basic expansion which is going to be just the general's handbook I don't need anything else so let me get let me know what you think guys do you uh, do you agree with what I say if it's a bit too much or not and that's it guys it's an end of another video I hope that you stayed all the way through this with me and I want to thank you guys for watching all the other videos and this one it means so much uh, the only thing I'm gonna say is my channel seems to be getting hidden within the YouTube algorithm so if you could share this amongst your friends uh, subscribe as well that would that would mean a lot and also if you if you like the content give it a thumbs up it helps us be seen by more people and you know we can we can expand the community can we through the channels so uh, what else is there to say now there is a PayPal account I did drop the Patreon and I tell it said for this every week I just don't agree with how Patreon's gone about the new schemes um, but like I said it's um, PayPal is there the link is down below we've also got a teespring account which I've got to put more on because I put the bare minimum on and I keep saying I got to, I'm gonna be putting more on and especially with the fact that I want to do some RBBL blood bowl um, tops to coincide with the start of a league so that will be coming in September so I hope you guys will enjoy that content as well and yeah it's just um trying to fit in as much as i as much as i can on this channel because it just it's you know between work hobbying and video editing it's just so much to do and so little time so um yeah like i said guys if you enjoy it uh, like share subscribe it means the world to us and yeah now i'm definitely going and i shall see you in the next video